The Legionnaires who fought with the British forces during World War I were the first Jewish fighting force in the modern era to use Jewish symbols, and this year marks 100 years since then. Well, lucky for us, we have here the COO of the Jabotinsky Institute, Gideon Michnik, to tell us all about it. Gideon, thank you very much for coming in today. Good evening. Thank you for the, hospi the hospitality. It's my pleasure. Uh, we celebrate uh, 70 years at the University of Israel, mm -hmm. 70 years to establishment of IDF, but not many knows that the roots of uh, the IDF are the Jewish legion, the Jewish uh, battalion, that was founded in 1917. Uh, and uh, because I'm the CEO of Jabotinsky Institute, I'm proud uh, to declare that Jabotinsky was the escalator. Jabotinsky was the initiative that made the idea uh, to make uh, fulfill. And it began in 1915 in Alexandria. And then we can show here, I can show here, <laughs> picture, very symbolic picture. Uh, the first march of the Jewish uh, legend wow. in 1918 in London. You can see in the front, uh, Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson was the commander of the 38th uh, Battalion. And here you can see Jabotinsky that uh, is now, in, in, then in uh, 1918, in February 19, is lieutenant, but he was recruited uh, to the Jewish legend as a... So as a simple uh, soldier. Okay, so, you know, you're mentioning Jabotinsky here as kind of this initiator of this Jewish legion, but why Why was there a need, you know, because 1918, we didn't have Israel, we didn't have, you know, why what, the Holocaust hadn't happened yet. Why was there a need for a Jewish legion? Very good question. <laughs> uh, Jabotinsky in uh, 1923 uh, wrote an uh, interesting um, article that called the Iron Wall. Even the Iron Wall was written uh, five years after the Jewish battalion uh, started uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be, uh, uh, to started uh, its existence. Uh, the idea of uh, the Iron Wall was behind of this uh, Jewish uh, battalion. Jabotinsky uh, suggested to the Jewish leaders uh, all over the world in uh, the beginning of uh, the First World uh, War in uh, 1914, that uh, the Jewish uh, nation should uh, ask or should uh, give the Great Britain the opportunity uh, to form a, a Jewish force that will fight with the British forces against the Turks in uh, mm -hmm. Eretz Israel to conquer Eretz Israel. And by this uh, process, mm -hmm. uh, the Britain will committed to build a Jewish uh, nation, Jewish house uh, to the Jewish nation in uh, Eretz Israel. So the way Most so I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Most of the Zionist leaders rejected. One of them even uh, blamed him uh, as, a, as a betrayal, uh, suggested to hang him. But the idea was that if we, will, if we want a Jewish uh, home uh, to the Jewish nation, we should build a strong uh, military force. And uh, this, is the fair, the fair, this is the reason that when in 1915, the Jewish ba uh, battalion of mules was uh, started uh, to act in uh, Alexandria, mm -hmm. Jabotinsky said, I'm not a mule driver, and drove to London to fight on the idea of beginning the idea of military force, combat military force, just, just in 1918, uh, you can see the merge sure. that it begins all well, the process. Well, that's incredible. And, and I'm assuming that there's a lot more in-depth detail here at the Jabotinsky Institute, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, as well. Yeah. And this is, I mean, this is fascinating, because without this, you can, you can guess, really just by listening to you for the last few minutes, that there wouldn't be an Israel without the Jewish Legion. It doesn't I, sound like it. I believe that uh, this is the first uh, important step that uh, people in Israel and all over the Jewish world should understand and know. Because we're talking about the IDF uh, mm -hmm. that came from the Haganah. But the roots of the Haganah are the Jewish, uh, Jewish Legion. Legion. And uh, no one, no, not many, knows about it. We're in Jabotinsky Institute trying to explore the idea to the young teenager in Israel, and we invite you sure. and all the audience to see and come to Jabotinsky Institute in the center of Tel Aviv, and to see and uh, to know uh, these uh, beliefs, these uh, ideas, and these deeds of Jabotinsky. Gideon, thank you so much. I, it was a pleasure to have you, and yeah, definitely go and check out the Jabotinsky uh, Museum in the middle of Tel Aviv. I, thank you, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much.